Hi guys, it's Sarah. Uh, one of the most common questions I get asked about this business is um, what do you need to do to get compliant when you set things up? Now, it's a quite a big topic and we dig into this a lot in the training, but what I want you to really just summarize for you is that there's four key things that you need to do to start with. Um, then you need to obviously trade compliantly and operate compliantly, but getting set up in the first place is four key things. Um, the first one is the right insurance with a fit for purpose broker. The second one is registering for anti-money laundering regulation with HMRC. The third one is registering with the ICO for data protection. And the fourth one is registering with one of the property ombudsmen so that you're working to the code of conduct that controls our industry. I hope that's been helpful. Really, those four key things are your starting point to getting compliant. Um, it doesn't need to be any more complicated than that. Once you've registered with those each of those four bodies, you then have got steps to follow their code of conduct. So they give you instructions of how to trade. So as long as you're trading in the right way, then that will you you will be uh, ticking all the boxes and you'll be okay. It is something you need to focus on because our industry is very much under the spotlight at the moment. So you do need to make sure you're compliant. You you can't borrow other people's compliance. You can't share uh, compliance. You need to be compliant. Your business needs to be compliant in its own right. So if I can help with any more with that, if you've got any more questions about that, do let me know.